Hi everybody, I'm Sandy Sandler and I'm the creator of the Bodabra Bowmaker. And if you're joining me now, this is a replay and we're doing a watch party for New Year's Eve. So we're having our very own New Year's Eve party. And I just want to remind you guys, we are going to give a roll of our Bodabra scrunchie ribbon during the live, which means you're watching at 4 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Mountain, 6 p.m. Central, or 7 p.m. Eastern, because we always give the Bodabra scrunchie ribbon a free roll during our live shows. And so it's going to be a watch party, and that's what we're doing right now. So I'm going to start and just show you our Bodabra scrunchie ribbon. So I've got some Bodabra bow wire, and here I'm using my mini Bodabra. I'm just going to fold it in half and lay it down into my mini. Then I'm going to take some of my scrunchie ribbon and just literally scrunch it in. And let's keep going here. And just keep scrunching it all in. And now it's all scrunched in. I'm going to take my wand. And the more scrunchy you use, the puffier your little ball will be. So I'm going to just pull that through my slip knot, put type on, still in the bodabra, pull it out, separate my ends, bring them around to the back, and I'm just going to twist it because that will work. And now you have this cute little puff, and this is how I made my hat. I used this, and then I put some cute little um, blue and silver ribbon on it. So now we're going to go into some really, really like simple, fun, wintry projects. So again, I'm going to grab some of my Bodabra silver ribbon. I mean, silver Bodabra bow wire. I'm going to cut a piece. I'm going to fold it in half and lay it down into my mini Bodabra. Now, I'm not sure if um, I will be able to speak to you or just type with you. So I just want to remind you to please say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. So I'm going to fold this in half. Oh, I almost forgot. I am using 32 inches of a one and a half inch wide ribbon. So I'm going to fold this in half and I'm going to put the wrong, I mean the right side of the ribbon down into my mini bodabra. Then I'm going to come back here and make a circle and I'm putting the, again the wrong side down. So now I have the right side up here. Then I'm going to take my other half of my ribbon and I'm going to bring it around so I have the right side on top and the wrong side. You can see here I'm going to push this down. So now I have an X. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bottom piece and scrunch that in and then take the top piece and scrunch that in. So you can kind of see like a little bow for me. I'm gonna take my wand and just scrunch everything down. Then I'm gonna take my next piece, which is again a one and a half inch wide ribbon by 24 inches. I'm gonna fold it in half and um, let me make sure I put the, this is the right side. So I'm gonna put the right side down into my mini modabra. Then I'm gonna bring this around and it's going to be a little bit there. Then I'm gonna do a cross over here and scrunch that down. And then I'm gonna take the bottom of my X and as you can see, I'm just gonna do a little, um, like we call this our mountain up and scrunch that down in. And then I'm gonna come right back over here and do a mountain up and scrunch that in. Then I'm gonna take my wand, just make sure everything is scrunched in there. Then I have these really pretty sage colored flowers and I'm gonna put those down in here. Then I'm gonna take my Bodabra bow wire, I'm gonna pull it through the slip knot, hold it tight while it's still, hold the bow totally down tight while it's still in the Bodabra, pull it really tight, pull it out of the Bodabra so this way I'm not struggling. Take my ends, bring them around to the back, and tie a knot, tie a double knot. And then you could tie this onto something. Um, let me just shape it out and bring this around here. So have your really pretty sage flowers, and I'm just gonna wrap this back around here, underneath there. And then 
Oh, whoopsie daisy, I'm gonna now shape everything. So, whoops, there we go. And now have this here, shape it all out. And now that it's shaped, and then I can take my wire and if I wanted, I could tie it onto a champagne glass or it could be a hat bow or just like even a boutonniere. But I'm just sort of giving fun ideas of things that you can make really, really quick. So I hope you guys like this. I'm gonna keep up always shaping. Oh, I put this leaf up here, bring my flowers apart there. So I just think this is just such a simple, really pretty little bow. So now for my next bow, I'm actually going to make a wreath. So I cheated and I've already taken our Vodabra Champagne Swirl Ribbon and I've wrapped a green styrofoam wreath. So I'm going to put this aside and now I'm going to take some of our Bodabra ribbon and I need my big Bodabra for this one. And this ribbon is about a yard and five inches. Now what's really fun about this is we're previewing our brand new line, which will be available in the middle of January of designs by Michael for Bodabra. So Michael's developed these gorgeous, gorgeous kits that you can purchase. And we're also going to do a ribbon box of the month. And so those will all be specifically only a one-time offer and Michael will design every one of them. So it's going to be really cool. So now, um, this, I think I told you already, this one is a five inch wide. So now I'm going to fold it in half. And again, I'm going to put the wrong side down and just, um, no, actually that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the wrong side down here. Then I'm going to bring it back because we want these loops to be really big and make sure it's all fixed out. I'm going to bring it back here and scrunch again the wrong side down. Then I'm going to center this and scrunch it in here. It's so pretty simple. And what's really cool is Michael or I will do the video, probably Michael, for the designs by Michael. So again, I'm gonna put this wrong side. This is exactly the same size as the loop that I have underneath. Bring it back. Again, I'm gonna put the wrong side down. I mean the right, I don't mean wrong side. I mean the right side of the ribbon down. And just scrunch that in. I'm gonna come back to the center and scrunch this in. So, and this is just a gorgeous glitter burlap ribbon that I just love. So now I'm using the same ribbon that I wrapped my wreath in, and I have about 20 inches, so, and it's a two and a half inch wide ribbon. So I'm gonna fold it in half. Now we've already dovetailed the ends. So I'm gonna fold it in half, and then I'm just going to put these down into my bow. I'm gonna do the same thing here. I believe this is exactly, yeah, it's 20 inches, 21 inches, and then going to just scrunch this in the middle and put this down in there. Then I'm taking another one of our beautiful Bodabra um, ribbons, this 27 inches. So again, for this one, I'm going to take the right side of the ribbon. I'm going to scrunch it down into my bow. I mean, into my Bodabra. <laughs> and then again, I'm going to take the right side of the ribbon and scrunch this down. So this kind of will give you guys, and then go to the center and scrunch that down. So this is kind of gonna give you guys a really cool idea of the wonderful types of designs that Michael's gonna do. So this is our beautiful silver, and it's sort of, I call it a paint splatter, silver and gold. And it's two and a half inches wide by 23 inches long. So we're just gonna put the wrong side down, bring this back, and put the wrong side down again, then go to the center and put that in. Then the next piece, so we just have a whole bunch of pieces that are already cut, makes it a lot easier when you do it this way. So now this is 23 inches. So again, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. I'm gonna scrunch the wrong side down 
and again scrunch the wrong side down. Now, please, you guys, don't forget to write, I want to win, if you're, uh, if you're watching on our watch party on New Year's Eve, because we are gonna give away a free roll of Bodabra scrunchy ribbon. So there is, this is 17 and a half inches by, and I keep saying it's two and a half. No, nope, you know what? I lied, it's only two inches wide. So I'm gonna again take the wrong, the right side of the ribbon and scrunch that down. Come back over here. Again, take the right, whoopsie daisy, right side of the ribbon, scrunch it in there. Again, take the right side of the ribbon and scrunch that down. And then I'm gonna come right up here and scrunch my whole ribbon down. And I think I better take my wand and do a really good scrunch here so it all stays. So then now I have two more pieces. This one is only, um, let's see, how big is that? That's 17 inches. So I'm gonna put, again, the wrong side in, bring it back around, put the wrong side in, and now take the, the, I mean, the right side in. I keep saying that wrong, guys. And now the wrong side will go down. And we have one more loop. So we are going to, again, this is the same size. So I'm gonna take my 17 inches. Again, I'm taking the right side of the ribbon, putting the, that upside down. Then I'm coming back around and, and making a loop. And again, taking the right side of my ribbon and putting this down. Now this type of um, bow also is awesome. And then I'm just gonna do my little scrunch in the middle. Oh no! No wire. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna show you guys, this is what you do if you forgot to put your wire in. Cause it happens even to me. So I'm gonna take my wire I'm going to fold it in half and, oopsie daisy, and I'm going to take it folded in half and I'm just going to fish it through my bodabra. And let's hope I can do this. So we're fishing it through, fishing it through, fishing it through, oh, and I'm almost, so now I can just, I'm almost there, not quite there. Let's see what we're doing. Okay, I hope you guys are really laughing. And I'm going to be laughing. Oh, let me grab my scissors. I'm going to be laughing so you can see what I'm doing here, maybe. Oh, almost got it. So this is what you do when you mess up. Now, we could retape this, but why not just show you that I am not perfect? And you can just fish it through. So now I have my wire. I'm gonna bring it up, bring it through my slip knot, hold it down while it's still in my bodabra, pull it tight, separate my ends of my wire, and bring them around to the back. Tie a knot. So are you guys like laughing really hard at me about this, that I forgot to put the wire in? <laughs> of me so but I know all you guys that use Bodabra on a regular basis that it has happened to you so now I'm gonna just shape my bow and I'm leaving the wire because I'm gonna use that to tie it onto my wreath so I'm just shaping my loops here and please chime in and let me know how you guys are doing do you have any special plans for the new year? Have you guys made any new year's resolutions? Um, I make new year's resolutions, but I usually have broken them by new year's day. <laughs> so I don't, I, I'm not one on that. I just want to be good to everybody and hope my whole family has a happy and healthy new year. And that's my biggest wish. So now I'm going to take my wreath and I'm just going to tie this whoops, onto my wreath. And it's really pretty easy, so I just knot it. <clears throat> and let's see how that looks. I just think that looks so beautiful. 
What do you think, Michael? Michael's Looks filming. Great. It's your design, okay. Michael. You better <laughs> like how I did it. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just going to let you guys look at this for just a sec. But isn't that pretty? So this is a preview of the kind of things that you're going to see with designs by Michael. So I'm so excited. So now I'm going to go on to another bow and just sit that there. I think that looks so pretty. Whoops, maybe we'll sit it there. Okay, guys. All right, there we go. So now I'm going to go to another design by Michael, but I need to give myself a little bit more room here. And I'm really excited um, because I'm going to test move everything around over here. I'm really excited because we have some really cool things that we're bringing in for Designs by Michael. So now I'm not going to forget to put my wire in this time. So I better get my scissors. And I'm going to cut the wire a little longer because this is going to be a fairly big bow. And let's just push this over here a little bit. So now I'm gonna take my Bodabra bow wire and fold it in half. But see, I did that on purpose last time for getting the wire to show you how to fish it through. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, okay, so now I have three pieces of ribbon that are all about 28 inches long. And they're two, I believe these are two inch wide. Whoops, let me measure it here, yes. So these are all two inches and I've got three different ribbons and I just think they go so pretty together. So I'm just gonna put them all together here and I'm gonna fold them in half and just find the center and just scrunch that into my Bodabra. You can't get more simple than that. Then I have um, another piece here that is 23, oh, 23 inches. Now, just so you guys know, in case you're not familiar, we've dovetailed or made this in the end. In order to dovetail, what you do is you take your ribbon, and you fold it in half, and then you cut from the fold at a diagonal to the corner. And that's gonna give you your really pretty crease. I mean, a little dovetail. So now I'm gonna fold this in half and go to the center and I'm just going to put this these tails in here and I believe this is exactly the same length um it's just a little 22 and a half inches so I'll fold that in half and lay this down in here oops and then we have going up what Michael you going can talk up. going up put the tail going up oh I'm one. sorry see designs by Michael <laughs> I have to know what I'm doing here so were we doing these tails like that too? No, no this, yeah, just perfect. these. Yep. Okay, You're good so job. see guys, I'm not perfect and this is designs by Michael. So I'm not pretending they're designs by Sandy. So it's 25 inches long. And on this one, we've actually cut a pointed end. So you do that the opposite of your dovetail. So you're gonna fold it in half and then you're gonna actually cut from the fold diagonally towards the non-folded side. So now I'm gonna put this in here and I'm assuming that one of these is gonna go up and this one is going, again, it's about 25 inches with the point. I'm gonna fold it in half and this is going to go down that way. One more. One more. And then I have this one here that is, again, the same length and that one's just gonna go straight across. So you can see all the really pretty colors. And then now I've got, let's see, how much is this? So these are the two ribbons here. I have the blue with the gold and then the plain blue. And again, they're two inches wide and I have a yard and then I have, whoopsie daisy. I think I have another yard. So it's another yard and about, so it's about 40 inches. So now we're just gonna do a regular fold and twist bow. So I'm going to just put the right, the wrong side down. I'm gonna twist it and push that down into my Bodabra. Then I'm gonna bring it back around. And again, I'm gonna have the wrong side and the inside of my loop. I'm gonna twist it and come back. Um, and then I'm gonna fold it back over 
twist it and back. And then again, the reason I'm twisting is because I want the wrong side of the ribbon on the inside of my loop. And so now I'm coming back, I'm gonna twist, scrunch it down. And again, I'm gonna fold back, twist and scrunch down. Whoopsie daisy. And then I'm going to fold it back. And I'm gonna twist and scrunch in. And then this time, I'm just gonna come all the way back and just do it, do the, I want the wrong side on the inside, so now I can just scrunch it down. Then, I'm so excited. We have these really pretty, and these are actually lights. So they look beautiful, so I'm just gonna throw this in here, and then what I'm gonna do is take, to cover this up here, I have another piece just like this that is two inches wide and about 12 inches long. So now all I'm gonna do is the way we did our other one, I'm gonna put the wrong, the right side of the ribbon down and then I'm gonna fold this over and make a loop. And again, I'm gonna put the right side of the ribbon down. Then I'm gonna come here go to the center and just scrunch that all down in there. Then I'm gonna take my wand and give everything a really good push. And then, let's see. So I did remember my wire this time. So now I'm just gonna pull the wire through the slip knot, hold my bow while it's still in the bodabra. I'm gonna pull it out, I'm gonna move this box out of the way, pull this out. I'm going to separate the ends, bring it around to the back. I'm going to tie a knot here. Now, if you're not familiar with the Bodabra bow wire, what I love about it is it's very, very strong, but it's a wire. So it has the, it has the strength, but it's so easy because you can just um, so simply um, adjust it and tie it off and cut it with scissors. So now you can see I'm just shaping this and I'm probably going to take th this, these lights are really cool. So you can kind of just pull them through the loops because the wire on the lights will just sort of adjust however you want them to. Oh, put that one that way. Maybe these here. Um, and then just pull this one again through here and maybe pull one of these down through this loop here. So you can see, you just kind of play with it to get, whoops, the look that you want. There we go. And I'm just gonna kind of fluff these out here, bring a couple of these through over here, whoops, and over here. Let's go. And I'm like looking at Michael <laughs> for approval, like how am I doing with my design skills? And then just separate the two in between, the solid blue and the top one. Yep. And so we're just gonna do, this is why we doubled it. So I'm just gonna try to separate these. They're kind of tight together. I guess it's because it's such a small loop. So this way and kind of do them opposite. So I'll pull the, um, this one in this direction, and this goes like this, and like this, and like that, and then here. And you have a really pretty um, centerpiece, or you could hang this on a vase. And I'm just gonna cut the wire so it's out of the way. But see how pretty and how absolutely super, super simple that was to make. Isn't that pretty? Hey, it even matches my outfit. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna make one more really quick one. And I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me and spending your New Year's Eve. Or if you're watching the replay, please type in replay so I know. And um, let me know what you did for New Year's Eve. Now I have to find my mini Bodabra, which is around here somewhere. 
And so we're going to just make this really super simple bow. So it's fun, and a lot of these we kind of had for celebrations, for weddings, or, you know, formals, that kind of thing. Um, and you can use any ribbon with it to make an absolutely beautiful project. So now I'm going to take my bow dimer bow wire, fold it in half. Now you guys, please share the video with your friends and let them know um, that we were live and they can always watch the replay. So this is eight inches long. And again, we dovetailed the end. So I'm just going to fold it in half. And I'm going to scrunch this down into my mini bodabra. And then I have a piece of my, um, it's a piece of my bodabra. It's our champagne mesh, glitter mesh, because it's got lots of glitter. And this is six inches long and it's a five inch wide ribbon. So basically all I'm going to do here is just scrunch it down into my mini bodabra. Now I am going to take this top piece and just kind of fold it so that when it scrunches down it's a real clean scrunch. So now I'm going to take, this is our um, rhinestone mesh and it comes basically, it's eight um, rows of the rhinestones and this piece is four inches so we basically just took one, cut four inches and then cut it in half. So now I'm just going to lay this down into my bodabra and I'm going to take this piece and lay this one down and then I'm going to take a piece of our beautiful splatter gold and silver ribbon that's two inches wide and eight inches long and again I'm just going to make a little scrunchy bow I'm just centering it down there and just scrunching it all in there. So now I'm going to do exactly the same thing. So my finished edge, so it has a finished edge and scrunch that down. I'm going to take my mini bodabra and push it all down in there and then pull that through, pull it tight while it's still in the mini bodabra, pull it out, separate the ends, bring it around to the back. I'm going to tie a knot. And I'm actually going to double knot it. And you could put this onto, to so sort of shape it a little bit. Um, but you could put this.